Well, okay, I take that back. It wasn't mold. Uh, it was just an old flyback that had just... It wasn't like the rubber even gotten r really hard or brittle. Uh, this thing just... Well, you look here. There's a hole here, which I think it was arcing through. Uh, all the windings were in spec ohm-wise, but, you know... That's, but that's at lower voltage. I mean, you know, at higher voltages, maybe that uh, is a little bit of a difference here. Well, this is kind of nasty looking, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you, do you think that this is a it's Ford Filco here? What a turd, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's... I think that this thing is... Uh, well, I'll see what I can do with it later, but I think I'm going to replace it for now because uh, I just don't trust it. Uh, now this, funny enough, uh, the replacement which I had bought a while back on the sinking instinctual suspicion that it was a flyback issue. I just, in the back of my mind, I just kept thinking that at one point. So I bought one of these, which is really hard to find these. And um, new old stock replacement. I like how it says exact improved replacement. Like they knew the original one was garbage, and they, it's like they're just saying, yeah, yeah, buy buy this one because this one's garbage and uh, will arc and stuff. So um, yeah, I guess I'll put the new one in and um, see if that improves things a little bit, shall we? I did check every winding though. And I checked all the tubes. I've gotten all the everything recapped. I, I did all kinds of stuff here, and uh, it was only this time around only arcing towards the bottom over here, like in that blind spot area. And I don't really see any holes in the rubber donut itself, but like I thought I did. But it only takes a pen-sized hole, so I was told, for high voltage to leak through. In theory, you could use some silicone high grade electrical grade silicone to kind of seal this all up but this thing kind of looks nasty I, I mean not as nasty as the zenith one but you know it might just uh maybe they just didn't build these very good maybe they're just garbage well compare that to the uh new old stock one that thord arson made ages and ages ago uh, just for comparison here. Because mm, I did a video on the flybacks I ordered quite many months ago. And uh, got this yellow pea-stained uh, diaper wrapping up this uh, new, old new old stock flyback here. Uh, come on. Come on. And the new one looks, well, new. And uh, it's got... A capacitor already attached and ready to go on as a courtesy, I suppose. And, uh... Fly, it, it, well, yeah. It's white instead of red. And the rubber donut looks like a frosted chocolate donut from a Hostess or something. Big one. Or Dingo. I don't know. Well, it, it looks a lot better and more reliable than, well, that... You know, it's got what appears to be... Is that asbestos? I don't know. That might be asbestos. <laughs> yeah, that that's probably... That, that's an insulator, all right. Yeah. Uh, look, Pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rubber donut here, ready to go. New and improved with a really sturdy-looking uh, cup here. It doesn't... Well, no, it does. It does come with its own little uh, thing here. Oh, it even has its own little two wires. That's good. So I don't have to rely on these old dumb wires here that are really garbage. Um, so I think that's good. All right. Well, uh, we'll be putting this in at a future date. Not too far from the future because I already kind of have a good idea of how to get it in. Should be fairly straightforward. And we'll go from there. All right, everyone. Well, this is uh, going to be a very fortunate thing for the Ford Filco that it has a replacement part. Finding these is about as easy as finding, well, you know, a lot of things these days. Shortages, but it was a 
months, but I managed to find this. I did. Honk, honk.